Hello, welcome to Oshkosh Poet Laureate Podcast. I'm Tom Cannon, the first Poet Laureate of this city and hopefully not the last. Uh, if you are on Facebook, please join me on the Facebook group Oshkosh Poet Laureate. I was asked by a reporter wanting to know more about the Poet Laureate position. Uh, she asked me, what would you say to those people that don't like poetry? I was sort of stumped. I think it's an important question, though. It is a common enough response to poetry. And, well, it took me a long time to come up with the following answer. I don't think people dislike poetry. They dislike their concept of poetry. Or the way it was uh, shown to them, exposed to them. And in return, because of this, they have not read or heard poetry that they might like. Poetry comes in so many forms that one of those types would have to engage the most reluctant reader. Now, the first example of poetry that is accessible to anyone and people love it is music. Lyrics are poetry. While we know poetry can be highbrow with an intricate pattern, uh, this is for the poetry lovers that want to spend time with a poem and enjoy those literary devices. Those are important. However, there are limericks and poems that fully engage in just the fun of rhyming. And there's a vast array of poetry between those two extremes. Poetry, people think that poetry are for, uh, are not for tough people like themselves, but they might enjoy Charles Bukowski. Uh, his poetry is real and gritty, honest and accessible. He shows that you can be tough and still like poetry because it does not have to be gentle. I reminded of a friend of mine, Lewis Clark. He's a Native American. He scrambled through racism that was rampant as he worked at factories. That, um, and he just had to knuckle down and, wor and work very hard. Eventually, he became the uh, head of a road construction crew. And they put in culverts. And he would take poems, seal them up, and put them in. Uh, put them into the culverts. The kids, uh, his co-workers, his people loved those poems that were rhyming and fun. He has a book entitled How to Be an Indian in the 21st Century. Uh, his first book was a chat book entitled Two Shoes. He wrote it for people to enjoy. He also wrote it to make his own journey accessible. Half Polish, half Native American, he had to choose, he had to navigate rather, between both cu cultures. Based on Lewis's poetry, I believe that one poem a day can teach as much as a textbook. So before people say no to poetry, they should look for poetry that is about their interests. There are poems about cars. There are poems about sports. Any topic has produced poetry. So again, I ask you, is there anyone that does not have a song that they find themselves singing along to when they hear it? That's poetry. Perhaps the a non-poetry lover will always say no to poetry, but that does not mean it's not important in their lives. The National Anthem is a poem. Short, funny limericks that they said in school are funny, are poems, rather. And so many of children's books are written like a poem. Uh, poetry is all around us, and we should take a moment to identify it and savor it, because it is important.